can always count on some really cool events to be going on in Vail every year, like snow days that's happening right now or the U.S. Open later on in the season. But tonight at 6.30 at Dobson Ice Arena is the Vail Skate Fest. And really special event because it allows me to have not one but two Olympians in the studio with me here today. Happy to welcome Jeremy Abbott, Karen Shin. How are you guys doing this morning? Great, thanks. How are Good, you? Good, yeah. Pretty awesome. I'm loving this winter. That's honestly the weather here has been fantastic. Like driving up in Bluebird days, like I want to get out on the mountain. Yeah, yeah, but kind of tough because you guys got to focus on the figure skating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's just beautiful, the snow and everything. Yeah, no, you. We were just chatting. You just moved from California to Colorado Springs, mm -hmm. so you've been pretty happy experiencing snow in winter now. Yeah, it's beautiful, like I mentioned before, and obviously the cold is something that I'm not used to, but um, it's great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. As long as there's no, you know, uh, old Swedish proverb, there's never cold weather, only bad dressing. So as long as you're dressed warm, <laughs> you're in good shape. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm sure our viewers are super curious. Tell me a little bit about Olympic experiences for you guys. Um, so I was in Korea. Um, it was great. Like, it's always been my dream to make the Olympic team. And so it was a dream come true. I had a lot of fun. Opening ceremonies was a blast. Um, but it was also just such a huge blur. Um, everything happened so fast, but there's nothing that I would have changed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. how, was, how was the overall like pressure of the competition? Were you able to, to block that out, or was, was that something that was constantly in your mind? It was hard because part of me wanted to just like explore and walk around, but the other part of me was like, no, I need to stay really focused. So it was kind of challenging a little bit to kind of balance that out. Yeah. Would you, would you say the same, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. I mean, I went to 2010 in Vancouver and 2014 in Sochi. Um, and I mean, both of them were very different experiences for me, but uh, it's once you're on the ice, it's like any normal competition, but it's everything that surrounds it that like, without being there, you can't really prepare for it. There's just so much intensity and so much energy. And um, it's really hard to kind of just like stay relaxed because like everything's buzzing and there's cameras everywhere and you have so many interviews to do. And it's like, we don't, it's not like a typical competition in that sense where there's just so much attention um, and, and like focus surrounding like the individual athletes through like a three week period. Yeah. Um, but it was it's a, it's an experience unlike anything anything else and it's it's really it's it's amazing and it's addicting and like that's so, like sometimes you see these people that go to like five six seven Olympics yeah it's that adrenaline of the competition that gets addicting right yeah yeah and so are, are there any moves that come from the Olympics that are going to be at the ice show tonight uh, yes um, some. some I mean some? Okay. this is it's not going to be like a, comp a competitive style event where you're going to be seeing like lots of quads and, and triple axles but uh, you'll be seeing lots of triple jumps uh, the we have pair teams that'll be doing throws and overhead lifts and like all that acrobatic stuff um, but it's definitely uh, it's going to be very entertaining for all ages you know we have we skate to just a wide range of music and you'll see um, a huge range of talent as well um, and you know it, there's really kind of something for everyone to enjoy an event like this like you will have a lot of acrobatic tricks and a lot of really intense athletic uh, feats but there it's also very entertaining and artistic as well okay okay and are you guys do you have a particular favorite song that you guys are going to be dancing to or skating to um well i'm in an opening number and then i'm also doing like um, one of my competitive programs but like toned down a little bit um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like shows in general um, is even more fun to watch because there's not that um, kind of pressure and competitive atmosphere and everyone's just out there having a good time and you can really tell with all the skaters. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, like you said, much more relaxed, mm -hmm. less pressure, yeah. less intensity. Yeah, and so when it comes to shows like this, um, kind of, kind of curious, in terms of the doubles to the singles thing, is it is it segmented or is it just does it feel like one big show that goes on? Like, is there an interconnected theme throughout the whole thing? Um, there's not an interconnected theme, but it's not like it's not separated by like uh, disciplines. It's it's very uh, free flowing, um, and so you'll have you'll see like a pair team, and then you'll see a single skater, then you'll see a dance team, and then another single skater, then a group number, and like 
it's not segmented into like different categories. Okay. Um, it's just it's like very kind of free form, free flowing. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a blast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excited to get there, and that's at yeah. 6:30 at Dobson Ice Arena tonight. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And awesome. um, people can still get tickets um, starting at nine o'clock at the arena. Okay. Perfect. Well, thanks for coming on, guys. Good luck tonight. I'm sure it's going to be super fun for you guys to not have that pressure of competition weighing down <laughs> on you. And enjoy Colorado and your first winter out here, Ken. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely will. All right. Coming up next, we've got Claire with our Supergoop UV forecast. <laughs>